Paralympic South African swimming star Natalie Detroit takes on the Midmar Mile in efforts to work with Team Fortissimo, who raise funds for Teddy Bear Foundation each year by tackling South Africa's biggest open water swim. For me, it was actually a very tough thing because I have vowed that I would never sort of swim Midmar again. It's quite a tough event in terms of lots of people, lots of crowds. Um, you know, there's a lot that happens within the swim, um, and I wasn't really happy with with everything. So. You know, first of all, I said, no, you know, not Midmar. Um, and and then they said, no, you know, the funds come straight to the teddy bear clinic, um, which is a positive and, you know, sort of weighed outweighed a few things. Together with all of this, I actually haven't done any sport for a few years um, since 2012. My decision to do it was, you know, it wasn't rushed. Um, and also, I think partly what made me decide to take part in the swim was the good that it will do for the children. The Teddy Bear Foundation, a Johannesburg NGO that provides services to thousands of survivors of child abuse, head by Daylene, the Bishop of Teddy Bear Foundation, is excited to be working with the likes of Dutoit, an icon in South African sports. The fact that she's come from a, a very challenged background and has risen above those challenges is actually exactly, or it speaks exactly to our children who are also coming from disadvantaged backgrounds, uh, challenged experiences, experiencing trauma, experiencing violation. So the fact that she's coming to support that, I think, is an excellent opportunity for children to role model. There's a living example of somebody who has taken the bull by the horns and has moved on. And this is also instilling hope. Icon Natalie Detroit has partnered with Sports Podium, an innovative information technology platform that provides and aims to serve the need of data collection for the public. Technology has become a dominant variable in the rapid growth and expansion of sports as a whole, with many conflicting arguments. I'm involved in a project called Sports Podium, and Sports Podium is, um, I don't want to scare too many viewers, but ultimately what it is will be anyone who's interested in sport, anybody who watches, takes part, anybody who exercises, um, will be able to put in data into a specific app. This app um, will then ratify if the information is credible, et cetera, et cetera, and you will be rewarded in a crypto token. Um, so something very similar to Bitcoin, not not Bitcoin. Um, they will be called pods and the program's called, well, the project is called Sports Podium. A full lake it will be on the weekend of the 10th of February as people from across the country jump into the lake with aspirations of being like Chad Ho and winning the largest open lake swimming in the country. Malana Slakan for Suwita TV Sports, Rosebank.